Hello beautiful people, good morning. So Papa was taken by our barangay ambulance to the hospital. It's for his, I would say, fifth or sixth uh, session of hemodialysis. Um, you know what, I was gonna go to the city today, but I know Robbie will be so mad because I cannot stay around when I'm feeling sick, when I'm sick. So yeah. Um, I was gonna get blinds for Papa's balcony so that it's not gonna be as hot for him during like late afternoon because April and May is the hottest in the Philippines and even now it's like super duper hot. It's only 9 a.m. and the sun is very harsh already. So yeah, anyway, I'm still not feeling at my 100% unfortunately, but I would say the two ob that I did last night or steam inhalation really helped a lot. So probably I will do that again today this morning and I'm gonna take Theraflu, that's what Robbie said. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> I was actually contemplating this morning on whether should I vlog today or not. But I know what's wrong with me, like, I just have this drive to vlog every single day now. Um, before, like, when it is in my head to not vlog on that day, I just don't vlog at all. But like right now, I have so much motivation and drive. I don't know, I don't know what it is, maybe it's because of Papa or what. But yeah, so Papa will be arriving later on with sis at like 4 or 5 p.m. So it's just gonna be all me all day today. Probably will not vlog, but at least I started it right now. Not me all day today. I have someone here with me, by the way. Hi, Brownie. Brownie. Say hi to the vlog. Brownie is by your... Brownie. Brownie. What? <laughs> You're so clingy. Brownie's always here. Are you Brownie Bayot? Are you Bayot Brownie? Brownie! Are you Bayot? Huh? <laughs> Brownie is Bayot. Alright guys, I'm gonna maybe take some rest. I'm gonna ask mom to do a two op for me and then I'm gonna sleep and hopefully I'll feel better after that. I just finished steam inhalation guys this is always the result super duper dripping sweat everywhere Ooh. every time I do this it makes me feel better actually so it's like hot water hot boiling water and then garlic, um, salt, vinegar, and a drop of essential oil. <sighs> Look at the drip, the sweat. Crazy. Fudge. Feels a bit better now. Feeling a bit better. But you have to be careful because you have to close your eyes the entire time because the essential oil is very strong so it can get into your eyes yeah, I was like closing my eyes
Hello beautiful people, good morning, another day, another vlog. I decided not to continue the vlog yesterday because I was like, MJ, health is wealth and you have to be healthy for Papa. So I decided to prioritize myself yesterday and just not do anything. I know I started vlogging, but then I just decided to sleep the entire day and eat and then go back to sleep. That's what I did. And you know what? I'm very happy that I did that because now I'm feeling a lot better, which is very good. That's why I decided to take a shower. I have not showered for probably three days now. Yes. Okay. Anyway, today is a gloomy day good because it has just been super duper hot in the countryside mom is in the balcony right now she's doing my laundry very good papa is in his porch <laughs> some of you guys said to just call it porch because it's easier we'll call it porch okay um he is watching movie in his cell phone Hey, what a day, what a day. I haven't had any breakfast yet. It's currently 9 a.m. I woke up at 6 today and then I decided I'm gonna like sleep a bit more. So I decided to sleep again. And yeah, right now I'm feeling a bit better, but still, um, my head, like here, it's still a bit heavy, but like my body is like doing good. I still have runny nose, but like my head is just a bit heavy. Don't know why my runny nose is not going away. It's so annoying because it just suddenly like drops. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have breakfast in a few. I have egg. And then we're gonna go to Papa because I'm thinking of um, doing something for the balcony. I mean for the porch again to make him more comfortable because every time I look at him um, He is still not fully comfortable with what I see. So let's see what we can enhance more what we can buy to give him a comfortable day-to-day -day life <laughs> right guys hello it's very hot let's hurry up i have here grapes and apples apple <laughs> for papa oh my god <sighs> it's so hot earlier it was gloomy and now it goes back to being very very hot okay this is papa's sanctuary ill. <laughs> I told him to elevate his legs because look, it's a bit swollen, I think. Look how high it is. This is his view every morning, all the time, all day, every day. Okay. What are you eating, man? Bravo. Ah. Grapes and um apple okay so ah, it's so nice here oh i actually prefer this porch though 
this balcony because it has a very nice view well mine has a million dollar view as well i would have to say but here you can see like my house mommy's house and just the road is right here mine is just like the mountain but here it's like everything you can see pretty much everything actually and yeah anyway papa did his laundry again look this is what he always do look his shoes right here he washed it his laundry is over there <laughs> ah. Hi. nice view he's right here all the time his cell phone right here watching his movie hello guys it is very hot in the countryside okay i just got here my papa's bill in his hemodialysis i was literally thinking that we are paying like 2400 pesos because i think i've shared it to you guys that the total like package in the hospital for the dialysis is 5333 pesos and then since papa is mom's dependent for her phil health uh, we got a discount of 2600 so i was thinking it's gonna be 2400 but it's actually not so i was looking into this breakdown right here there is actually a professional fee for papa's nephrologist which is 500 pesos and there's also subclavian pack I don't know what the hell that is but there is 300 pesos for that so um, we are actually paying every dialysis session of Papa a total of 2733 pesos guys and aside from this so this is what we pay in the hospital so again we are choosing super doctors because it's the closest for sis to assist papa um in bringing him there in like assisting in whatever he might need in the process i mean on the while they were doing the dialysis so um the nephrologist actually suggested us that there are other um dialysis clinic um which is a bit lower but we are calculating how much it would cost like sis to like you know drop papa off there and drive back and all that so it's gonna be pretty much the same as how much we're paying at super doctors so we're choosing that for now and um yeah so 2733 for the dialysis in the hospital aside from that there is also a an espogen this is a medicine that they will inject papa to uh, after the dialysis so every dialysis session he has to be injected with this uh, medicine so we have to purchase that outside because if we get it in the hospital it's like 300 plus more expensive so that is 930 pesos guys so pretty much we are like spending around 
um, 3,700 for Papa's dialysis and the Espugen, which is the medicine. And then we also have to give tip to the ambulance because if you guys don't know, if you are working in a government here in the Philippines, the salary doesn't come on time. It would usually take after two, three months. And I feel bad for him as well. So we give him like 200 pesos every time he like takes Papa to the hospital and back. And then, so yeah, that's like 4,000 pesos per dialysis session. And um, you might be wondering what's the next thing that we have to do for Papa, guys. It's actually transferring his IJ cath to a fistula, which is going to be here in the arm, which is a lot better because it's not very prone to infection. Here, we have to be very careful because if it, if it gets infected, that's it that's bad so yeah um we are now processing papa's pwd so that at least we can have a discount because that's going to be another surgery another operation so we have to use the operating room in the hospital and then we have to like pay professional fee for uh, for the surgeon the last time we paid like twelve thousand for the professional fee not including the operating room the operating room was like thirty thousand pesos so the doctor have told us there is going to be an estimated of thirty to forty thousand pesos not including the professional fee of the doctor and papa's surgeon who did his ij cat is currently out of the country he will be back next week so that's what we're targeting hopefully by then papa's pwd will be finished so at least we will have 20 percent discount aside from mommy's phil health so yeah that is our plan for now um we've already gathered papa's um, requirements for his pwd and we've submitted it to our barangay god focal and she will be the one that will go to the government and process everything so hopefully that will be like processed ASAP so that at least once that Papa surgeon will be back um, here in Cebu then we can already transfer his IJ path because you cannot use the I mean the fistula you cannot use it directly you have to wait like four to six weeks in order for it to be ready to be used for the um, dialysis so there you go that's the latest update for Papa um, a lot of my plans have been put on hold um, actually um, I was gonna go travel somewhere but we are um, moving that one for now um, but yeah hopefully once Papa will be will have the fistula here then we can proceed with our life <laughs> Funga carrying man. What's this? <laughs> Bugas. From? Daddy. From, from Nana. Did you say thank you, Nana and Nene? Where was Daddy? Oh my oh, God. Wow. <laughs> wow, you have how many kilos of rice, Panga? How many kilos of rice is that? How many kilos? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow! Such a big girl! So strong! <laughs> Good afternoon everybody! I was trying to take a nap today but I could not sleep at all because of the heat even if I turn on the air condition and I was just looking at Papa from my window he was watching movie in his cell phone 
So we're gonna visit right here because it has a nice breeze. I think you guys can tell because my hair is like flowing everywhere. Hola! <laughs> what is the panga doing? What is the panga doing? Oi! Wow! What is the panga doing, man? Why are you at Tatai's bed? Hello! Are you borrowing Tatai's cell phone? Is that Tatai's cell phone the eye? Wow! Tatai's eating! This is where Papa sleeps, guys. In the afternoon, we have here the phone. Here. Ta-da! What are you playing? 